Hi there, we're continuing our look at the whole armour of God this week. And we've looked at the girdle of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. And now we come to the shoes of the gospel of peace. Paul says, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And uh, the shoes are so important and how we walk and how we stand is so important. If you want to stand against the devil in an evil day, our feet are very important and our stance is very important. And we want to thank God today for the good news, the glad tidings that bring us peace, the truth that we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, that he has made peace for us and we're stood in a place of security. He's lifted us out of the miry pit, out of our sins, out of our lost condition. And he's put our feet on a rock. You know, when Moses was seeing the glory of God in the presence of God on the mountain. He wanted to see more of the glory of God. And though he was interceding for Israel and, and confessing their sins, the closer he got to God, he was so attracted to the beauty and majesty of God that he prayed this prayer, Lord, show me your glory. And the Lord said to him, no one may see me and live, but there is a place near me where a man may stand on a rock, hidden in the cleft of a rock. And later the Apostle Paul tells us, and that rock was Christ. The rock that accompanied them was Christ. He is the only way we can come to God and stand secure and safe in God's presence. Paul says in Romans, it's by faith that we've gained access into this grace in which we now stand. We can stand in the presence of God because of the gospel. The good news is that you're welcome into God's presence today because of all that Jesus has done. And you can stand in his presence. You don't need to slink around. You don't need to grovel. You can stand as his son and daughter. You can come boldly, it says in Hebrews, before the throne of grace boldly right up to God's throne and receive his mercy every day and his grace to help you in your need. What is on our feet is fantastic. What's on our feet is good news. It's acceptance and strength. The Apostle Paul tells us that we shouldn't move an inch from this gospel. Not an inch, but we should stand firmly on it. Stay standing today, brothers and sisters, on the good news that you're accepted, that you're loved, that you have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. As you take your stand today with the gospel, on the gospel, the good news. And you can share the good news with others. You can advance and preach the gospel, which is the power of God. But make sure first, it's your gospel and it's good news for you. You stood on the rock, you stood before the throne of grace, you stood in the good news, and you're not moved an inch from anything the devil throws at you. Amen. Lord, thank you that you've covered our feet with the gospel. How beautiful are the feet of those who preach good news, and how beautiful are the feet of those who stand on the gospel, who stand in this spacious place of the rock of Jesus Christ. Lord, we take our stand today against the enemy and against his lies and wiles and against all the powers and principalities of this world. We stand on the gospel and we pray that we would be immovable, that we wouldn't move an inch from our whole weight and our whole trust is in Jesus Christ and what he's done for us on the cross. Amen.